Good evening. I'm in red. I hardly ever wear red. I'm trying out a new look. What do you think? Not really. It's just, uh, this is one of those shirts that I wear when I don't have to look good. <laughs> so, uh, I just got home from work a little while ago, and I intend to finish this tombstone tonight. No matter how long it takes, I'm gonna do it. Also, please ignore the giant pile of clothes behind me. Uh, I'm in the middle of doing laundry. And by in the middle of doing laundry, I mean everything's piled up back here waiting to be hung up. And I'll get to that eventually. But first, I'm gonna do something that I've never tried before. And I actually kind of want you guys' opinions before I completely call this finished. So, the tombstone is pretty much completely done. I got all the details painted, however, the guy who commissioned this tombstone suggested that I try putting some red in there, considering it's called Redbeard Studio and Productions. Which totally makes sense. Um, the only thing is I don't want to completely paint the entire beard red or the entire word red, because I think that would look weird. I don't think it would fit. So what I was thinking of doing is dry brushing red in the beard and the name, sort of hoping that like it will look like old scratched up paint. Like as if the tombstone once upon a time was painted red and over the years the red has kind of worn away. Now, I've never dry brushed using color before, so I don't know how well it's going to turn out. I might end up hating it. But uh, I wanted to try it out anyway, see what you guys think, and if it turns out that it just looks terrible and everybody hates it, then I can just easily paint back over it with black and pretend like it never happened. So that's what I'm going to try. So I'm going to try using this red acrylic paint to do it. And I don't know how well acrylic paint works for dry brushing. I don't know. This is going to be a learning experience for all of us. Alright, so I'm going to squeeze some out of my makeshift paint board thing. I don't know what those are called. What are those things called that artists, like, they have all of the different colors on the little, like, palette? Is that what's called? A palette? A paint palette? That kind of makes sense. So I squeeze it out on my makeshift palette. Let's see, I'm gonna try using this brush. So I'll get some on the brush and just like you usually do with dry brushing, I'll get the majority of it off over right here. That actually looks really cool, doesn't it? And then here goes nothing. Mm. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I don't like it. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't work, I don't think. I just don't think that has the desired effect at all. All it's doing is making it look like it was painted really badly. Yeah, I don't like it. So, I'm gonna try and quickly save face and paint over it with black. Um, although, hmm, I still have a little bit of red on the brush. What will happen if I add a little bit of black on top of that? And... Yeah, it's not really doing anything. I mean, it's covering it up, which is good. That's what I wanted. I was just wondering if maybe mixing the red and the black would do something. Hmm. 
Well, at least it's easy enough to cover back up because I did not like the way that looked at all. Alright, so I got it all covered up and no one will ever know. Although I don't want to call it quits just yet because I feel like we do need some red in there. So maybe it won't look quite as terrible in the word. Let's just see how it'll look if I do a little bit of red mixed in. You know what? That actually looks okay. And I think the reason for that is because it makes more sense for the letters to be colored and then have that color kind of worn away. That makes more sense than just this big open spot having that. I think this will be okay if I do it just a little lightly, just like this. Like, I'm not gonna do completely solidly red, just enough to kind of like highlight it a little bit. Maybe it could look pretty alright. I think that might look okay actually. What do you guys think? I haven't dabbled too much with color in tombstones, so it's like this is a whole new world for me pretty much. Alright, so I think that is gonna do it. That's all I'm gonna do. I actually sent him a picture of this and asked him if he wanted more red or less red. What did he think about the failed attempt with the beard? And he actually kind of agreed that you don't want to have too much red because it would just be distracting. But he said he really likes that and honestly I do too. I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. So I'm going to let that dry. Um, I think that the red is already dry for the most part, but all that black that I had to do in there is still pretty wet. So I'm going to let that sit here and dry for a little while, and then I'm going to take it outside, do the light gray dry brushing, and that'll be it. The whole thing will be finished. I've been saying that for a couple of weeks now, but that is the last step, is the gray dry brush. I'm pleased with it. I wasn't too sure about this one at first. When I saw that design, like when the guy originally sent me the design and said, I want this on a tombstone, I was like, I don't know how well that's going to look. But it's turned out pretty well, I think. I like it. Alright, so the red lettering is all dried up. So I came out here and I mixed some white dry lock with some gray dry lock to make a nice really really light gray. On the camera it almost looks totally white but in real life it's a light gray. I'm going to get rid of the excess paint on this piece of foam so that almost all the paint is off. Called dry brushing for a reason. You want most of the paint to be completely gone in order to get this effect. It's pretty good. All right, so what we're we gonna do? Just gonna take this brush. It's not a very good spot for you, is it? Hang on. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna take this brush. We're just going to very, very lightly do like this. I hope you can see it on the camera. It brings out all the detail and gives it a very rough 
look to it. that there's a few spots where I hit a little bit harder than I meant to like right there there's a couple spots on the side that I hit too hard but at the same time having those little splotches there actually kind of adds to the randomness of it I think you see how much difference that makes that actually like it brings out all that little detail and it makes it look like a rough stone and on the back as well yeah I hit too hard up here for sure but that's okay it's not a big deal but there you have it guys that is the finished Redbeard Studio and Productions Tombstone I think he's gonna be pretty happy with it. I've been sending him progress pictures uh, from the beginning all the way up until now. And every time I do, he always says how awesome it's looking. So I think he's gonna like it. And I'm glad about that. <laughs> so yeah, it's another project under my belt. I can officially say that I am finished. Now I just gotta find a box big enough for this thing. Get some bubble wrap and get it all sealed up and shipped off. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. I'm so happy that this is done. Let me know what you guys think about it. I feel like I'm getting better and better at making these things. Every time I make a new prop, whether it's a tombstone or anything, it always becomes my favorite thing that I've made. And I think that is because I'm... I'm learning more, I'm improving every step of the way, so... Yay for self-improvement! And also, yay for bed, because it's late and I'm tired. And that's where I'm going. Tomorrow should be fun, though. Uh, tomorrow we're doing a, an early birthday celebration for me with a bunch of friends, so... That should be fun. But for now, it is bedtime, so... Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.